Last week, Perry faced his father Carl in court, after pressing charges of domestic violence against him. However, in a surprise turn of events, Carl was found not guilty and was free to go. Perry was distraught, with matters made worse by the fact that Tane missed the trial after Harper was taken into hospital. Rose began the process of taking out a provisional AVO, apprehended violence order, against Carl, meaning he would be prevented from going anywhere near his son, but only temporarily, with Perry facing the prospect of another trip to court if he wished to make the order permanent. Later, as Perry and Tane returned to their house on Saxon Avenue, Tane reassured Perry that his dad wouldn't dare come anywhere near him considering there's an AVO in place and they live with a cop, but they had no idea that Carl was hiding just out of sight watching them as they entered the house. This week, when Perry returns home to find a knife stabbed into the kitchen bench, with a copy of the AVO beneath it, he knows his father means business. He decides it's time to flee Summer Bay and go into hiding, but he won't have the chance to do so, as Carl is hiding in the house, ready and waiting to pounce. The adrenaline rushes through Perry's body so fast, he goes straight into fight-or-flight mode. By now he knows he's put his father through some serious obstacles. He knows what his father is capable of. He's in grave danger. Carl grabs his son and drags him into the backyard, where he forces his head down into the pool. The power is in Carl's hands and he knows the rage running through his veins. Perry is in serious trouble, and this time, there is no escaping. Thankfully, Tane arrives home just in time, but will he be able to overpower a furious Carl? Plus, with Tane still desperately needing to stay out of trouble with the police after his recent court case for abducting baby Poppy, which saw him given a seven-year community sentence, can he even risk stepping in?